Hey friends, hope you all are doing good today. This is Namrata. Today we'll be discussing on how to build a customer community using the community builder. In our earlier video, we discussed how to enable the communities. We uh, discussed about uh, community administration. We also discussed how to enable a user as an external user. Now let's log in into the Salesforce and uh, go ahead and build our community page. So from the home, quick find, look out for the all community and go to the builder for the community which you have created that is SFDC one stop 20. Click on builder. The page gets opened up and this is where you build your page that is customer community page. We can do a lot of branding, add certain tabs, different components. You can go ahead and add the liking web components. What and all of the custom components you, you, based upon your requirement, you build any custom component, you can go ahead and add that component. So we'll see all of those um, in details. So these are different sections, different um, uh, buttons or links that are available. That is component. You have a theme section, you have page structure, then uh, settings. Let's go to theme. And as a first step, let us change the theme. Theme is basically how you would want your page to look like for your end customers. So this is where replace and start fresh. Whatever suits to your community, to your customer community, you can choose the theme accordingly and do certain customization based upon your requirement. So again, go to the theme section. Here, theme settings. These are certain things which are by defaulted. The section, whatever you see here, it is called as a hero section. Top section is called as a component header. Uh, then this is theme navigation menu. This is search. These are all of the different standard components which are available out of the box. So here I don't want show set max page limit. I just want the show header. Go back, make any other changes, colors. If you want to make any changes to your text or any other colors, you can make that change uh, here. Click on back. Select the image. I have to already chosen the specific uh, company logo. If you would like to add um, anything, click on select image. Choose the image uh, from your libraries or upload the image from your local desktop. I have already added it. Cancel. Background image. Let it be what how it is font, what all font you would like to change. You can go ahead and make certain changes in the font section. We already checked the theme. So we build the basic page structure. Then let's go to the settings. In the general, this is the community title. This is how the community page will looks like because I've already published it. Um, but for the first time when you have not done anything, it, they, it will not be showing anything. After you publish your community, then only your community will be available to your uh, customers. Theme, this is another place where you can go ahead and change your theme based upon your requirement. Languages, if you would like to add additional languages, you can go ahead and add it from this uh, section. If you want uh, your community page to be available to your Spanish users or Portuguese users, you can add the languages um, uh, from here. Navigation. I, this is something which we'll be seeing uh, CMS Connect, Advanced. There is nothing much. So everything is checked. Let's go to components. Now let us add various components or make certain changes. So this is the theme navigation menu. I would want edit the navigation. So I've already chosen this, but let's delete this and add a new um, navigation menu. So give the name as case because that is what you are going to build your page for your customers who can log in and uh, verify um, who can log in and raise any case. And they can also go ahead and check all the open cases which they have raised. And uh, if they wanted to create a case, they can use this customer community to create a case. Uh, and the details will be, once the case is created, it gets logged in into the Salesforce and all the updates can be visible to your customers. So that is the uh, generic scenario with which we are going to build our community. So here I'm choosing the Salesforce object. 
object type choose the case default list view my open and save the menu so you are going we went ahead and made modification to the theme then let's come to the section headline bring it to the center so i have given it as welcome sfdc and then give the tagline as a place where that is all just leave it like that so you have changed the tagline then compact header this is where you can go ahead and add it add the image click on add image upload the image search for the one which is the biggest use open yep so we have added it scale to fit center restore remains the same so the header is getting added all of the you have added the headline now let's add the pages components so from the components section choose for the tabs and add that here as a content it takes some time if it is not added it is added again yep so there are different tabs available um, i don't want tab 3 i don't want this let's rename the tab one as case we have available click on save done what you have added a tab called as a case now you we want to add the record list for that go to the same component record list list view all the cases which uh, the customer created all open cases add the record list to this particular section Okay, somehow it is not getting added. Let's add it once again. Yeah, here it is added. So record list. These are the property details. Standard layout. We will use the standard layout. Object name is case. Choose the case. all open cases yes have this this is done add one more component and then the record list at the bottom i would want it as yeah record list choose standard choose the object as case select the case all open cases here all closed cases select so we have built a basic structure like what and all are the case uh, open cases customer has raised um, they can see it here all the cases which uh, the customer has closed uh, the customer can view it and if you would like to preview how the page will be you know how the page will be visible to your external customers click on preview so this is how the page will be visible to your customers and if you would go back if you want to add any other components you can add the specific component like any topics any trending articles whatever the custom components you have built that will be available under the custom component section you can add that uh, custom component uh, the flow if you want to call any flow you can call that particular flow a lot of other stuff is some a um, lot of other things you can add calendar you would like to add a calendar you would like to add a report dashboard based upon what user has access to analytics dashboards all of this is something which you can add but at this moment we will keep it uh, simple and straight that uh, for the custom my for my customer the customer should be able to view all the cases which the customer has raised all the closed cases and he or she should be even able to create a case so that as soon as a customer tries to create a case the case gets created into the salesforce the salesforce 
the support agent will work on this case and the customer will get notified it's they can easily collaborate salesforce can you know you can collaborate with your customers customers can collaborate with uh, the business with the, with the organization so that is the agenda that is how the requirement um, that is how we have built the community now once everything is done click on publish once you publish the changes then only this particular page will be customer community will be made available to your users click on publish yep now customer or the external customer external user whatever the login the user has got it based upon that login the user can login into the customer community page and he or she will be able to view the community so this is how i logged in i can log out and log in as a external user and see how it will be how the page will be visible to them oh not here go to your this give the password to your community page click on login no so the customer community customer user has logged in and he is able to view the page like this all the closed cases now when the customer goes to the case he see a new button you can click on new and customer can raise a case my first customer community case save it fill in mandatory details the customer is creating a case the case gets created salesforce customer support agent logs checks the case provide whatever the feedback the communication will be directly the customer can directly know what is actually happening to his or her case which is being raised so this is how finally we were able to build a customer community page we logged in as a customer or an external user and we experienced how the page is displayed uh, to them i hope this tutorial is helpful for some of you i would like to thank each one of you for watching all our videos and sending wonderful feedbacks if you would like if you like this video please do share it with your friends and do let us know if you have any questions thanks again for watching all our videos have a good uh, rest of your day bye bye